my YouTube channel before, welcome. Today I am coming to you from the San Francisco Bay Area. I am a little bit more north than I've been recently. I'm actually currently at Rodeo Beach. I'm gonna be in this area for the entire weekend doing some great hikes around, and this is one of the most popular. It's a nice moderate trail which of course I always like to push myself, but at the same time, these are always great to review. So it's great for someone who is not wanting to be on the trail all day. It also is dog friendly. There is literally a beach where you're parking. There was tons of free parking as well as restrooms as you are able to see. This should be about five and a half miles and just over a thousand feet of elevation. So nothing too, too crazy, but it's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really, really excited. If you haven't yet, make sure you give this video a quick like. It will not only help me, but it just supports me in my channel with the algorithm. Let's officially get started on this beautiful hike. about three quarters of a mile in. It's been great hiking conditions. You can see up there, the trail is gonna be a lot more steep. I do remember reading on all trails that the first mile is gonna be most of your elevation. So I've expected that, but um, so far it's just been absolutely beautiful. I am here in early September. It was around 9 a.m. when I actually parked. I had no problem actually getting parking, which was wonderful and kind of surprising. The beach is great. There are quite a few people at the beach and then so many surfers out. So I always like watching surfers. So I'll probably do that for a little bit while I have like a sandwich or something um, after this hike. This hike is also currently in Sausalito, California, which I'd never been to. It is just super, super cute. So I'm definitely gonna experience the town a little bit more tomorrow, but I just so many like cool cute little shops and cute little coffee shops right on the area or right on the water sorry um of course with lots of like sailboats and stuff so if you're ever in this area highly recommend it what's cool is the cloud is just slowly lifting but you can see that in the distance and that definitely is the golden gate bridge so it's a pretty cool little area i do remember reading reviews stating that you'd be able to see it in the distance There's not a lot of wind, but it, the clouds are definitely coming towards me. So it's definitely getting more and more cloudy up here. I'm curious if it'll be beautiful when I'm kind of at the top um, to be over the clouds, if it'll clear, or if we'll get no view at all. We'll see. This isn't even the trail that I'm on, but as you're able to see, there are so many trails that go in this area, which is amazing. I love all the hiking, biking, and running options. If you 
go up there just to the top, you get to go to, it's called Hill 88, which should be a really great view, but it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going. Unfortunately, I'm perfectly in the clouds, but it's been really nice so far, but that seems like a really popular trail. I'm gonna continue on doing this loop that I planned. Two miles in and about 45 minutes in as well. If you have followed me on here for a while, you know I love doing hiking all around the world. And also, if you don't, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my future hikes. But I always love like hiking in places that kind of technically might be in my backyard kind of thing, and then relating them to other countries that I've done, like other hiking areas in different countries. And right now, you can kind of see it's very like rolling hills very lush. Um, earlier last year, I was in the country of Dominica, which is for the record, not Dominican Republic, but it's one of the Caribbean islands. Very similar feel right now without the rain, thank goodness, but also when I've been hiking in like Scotland, very similar to this. That's all. distance you can see the ocean again so we definitely have gone back down more in elevation and just hit three miles I have been hiking for one hour and ten minutes boy Thor come on Thor <laughs> What's up, bud? I know the camera's out, so you have to try to cancel. Well, that's not hard for you. So, I wasn't actually thrilled to see the last miles along the road here, but there actually is a very nice path to the side of the road. I think just up here we'll see the ocean again, so... Not as picturesque as the other side, but still nice that they have the trail option here. And I've been just pleasantly surprised by this area, this national recreation area. So I'm gonna do some more hikes in this area. Very, very excited. But as you're able to see, there's tons of parking down there and then a beach right there as well. I'm going to end my video here as I'm almost at the parking lot and then of course it's gonna be a lot louder so I won't be able to do a very good intro and overview for you all. I'm not a huge fan of like raiding trails. I don't know. I definitely would do this hike again. It didn't wasn't as great of use because of the fog that has rolled in. I'm sure if you did it more later in the day it might be a lot clearer or of course just on a clearer day. It only took me an hour 45 though to do, which is great. And then of course I can go have some lunch at the beach right now, which is just perfect that it's just right there. It's also nice and accessible and is dog friendly, which is always a plus for me so I can bring my dog Thor. We'll be doing lots more hikes in this area. Make sure you have subscribed and I will see you next time. Keep living life. Bye.